welcome. My name is Darren Bell and I'm going to talk to you right now about the time value of money for personal finance. So first we have to understand it. So time value of money is all about time. So what happens over time when you invest some money today and then in five years from now you go to uh, use that money. So over time hopefully you're investing in an investment that will gain you interest. Right? So interest works over time. And so the idea is, is that when we wait to consume money, that that money, hopefully, if interest is working on it, will be able to gain value. So today's value for money, we call that present value. In the future, whenever you want to, want to use that money, we call that the future value. Right? So the, the difference between the present value and the future value is not only time, but during that time, interest is at work, right? So as interest works over time, then we uh, will increase our future value, right? So that's future value. And we can also do calculations to tell us if we want a certain amount of money in the future, then what do we need to do today what do we need to invest today to get that amount in the future? So there's calculations looking towards the future to figure out if we invest today at a certain interest rate or, and we wait for a certain amount of time, what's our future value? There's also investments or calculations where we can say, we want a certain amount of money in the future. What do we need to invest today, right? So we can look at it both different, both directions, future, to present and present to future. So first, future value, right? It's the, the resulting value of an investment at a certain interest rate for a certain amount of time. So let's do a scenario. Let's say, for example, I invest $100 today in an investment where I can receive 8%. And I do it for 10 years, and I wait for 10 years, right, with my money earning 8%. How much will my $100 be worth at the end of those 10 years? So here's the calculation down here on the bottom line. Basically, this is the math that you do. There's several different ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel as well, to use Excel to calculate time value of money. And so I'll, I'll show you that. But this is the equation. So it's going to be my $100, my initial investment, present value. And I'm going to multiply that by 1 plus 8 to the tenth and or 0 0.08 so the 0 0.08 in there in that calculation that's my interest rate right so 8% in decimal value is 0 0.08 and then the the uh, to the power of 10 in here is is the amount of time that I wait how many periods that interest is compounding okay which gives me an answer of two hundred $215.89 that's my future value for this investment, initial investment of $100. All right, wonderful. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do the future value calculation. So the future value calculation says that today, in the present value, we're going to invest $100. So there's my $100 I'm going to invest. I'm actually going to, for this, for this and you'll see why, uh, I'm actually going to make it a negative $100,000. So... Uh, so that's money I have to put in, right? So it's going to be negative $100. And then I'm also going to put in 8% point, uh, which I'm, it's going to be 0 0.08, right? Is 8% in decimal format. And then the number of periods I'm going to have is going to be 10 years. So I'm just going to put 10. So this, this investment is going to compound annually. So I get an annual interest rate of 8%. Now for the calculation. So the calculation here is uh, I need to put the formula in Excel for future value into this cell right here that I'm in. So the, there's a couple different ways to do that. The easiest way to do that is, is go ahead and I'm going to be in this cell that I want my future value number to be in. I'm going to go up here to the function button right up above here. It's going to bring up this box right here. So it just popped up on the screen. You see my future value is already selected. I've been working with this before. If yours isn't up there, FV right here in the blue, 
If, if that's not available in your selection, then go ahead up here in, in this search function, go ahead and type in FV and hit go, and it'll pull it up. It'll be the first one on the list. So there's FV is selected in blue there. Go ahead and hit OK. And now the wizard comes up, right? So the wizard here is going to have me put in my rate, my NPER. NPER in this case, you can actually click on these different fields and they'll tell you down below what they want you to put in there. My NPER is actually the number of periods that I'm going to have. In this case, it's annual, so it's going to be the number of years. Payment, I'm not going to do that. At this point, that's for annuities. We'll calculate that later. And so this is my present value here that I get a plug in as well. So first my rate. I can click this little arrow right here and it'll let me go search for it. And so the rate I'm gonna pick is gonna be uh, this right here, my interest rate. Go back up to my box here, hit the blue down arrow. That'll let me select my in, in per, my number of periods. Put my cursor in there. Select the up arrow. If, if you have a big enough screen, you can kind of put your box to the side and just go click on it. But uh, since I'm kind of zooming in here to show you, I'm, I'm using these little buttons here. So there's my number of periods. I'm gonna click the blue arrow again. And the last thing I need to put in is my present value. So my present value is how much I'm investing today. So that's gonna be $100 right there. And then, uh, so, Let's go ahead. Uh, so we don't need payment. That's going to be for annuities. Well, I'll show you how to use that. Uh, I don't need type. So there we are. So we don't need to put the type in. Type will just leave omitted on all these. Uh, if you get into a, a finance class in your uh, in your bachelor's degree, you'll learn a lot more about future value. Or if you go into banking or whatever, uh, I'm going to leave it zero, and then that'll that'll leave it simplified for us. So put in your rate, your number of periods, and your present value gives us our answer right there. We go ahead and click OK and sure enough there it is in the future value. The same amount that I put on the slides and that's how you calculate future value with Excel. Okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back the other direction. So the other direction is gonna we're gonna we know what we want in the future. What do we have to do in the present to get there? Right? So the present value is the initial invested amount from which the resulting future value was derived. Right, as, as we wait time and, and interest works on our money. So, uh, it's also called, sometimes people call it principal. Um, sometimes people call it a discounted amount. So the idea of moving from future to present is discounting. Um, and so those are a couple terms that are often used. So this is the scenario. So I, have, I want a million dollars in the future when I retire. And so now, the question is, is how much do I need to invest today in a lump sum format? So I just say I can come up with some money today and put it in an investment that receives 8% interest uh, and, and I wanna retire in 25 years. So what am I gonna have to invest today to get that million dollars 25 years from now at 8% interest? So here's the calculation on the bottom line right here. So really we're gonna take our future value, what I want, we're gonna divide that, right? by one plus 0 0.08, that's our interest rate, uh, 0 0.08. And then we're going to uh, raise that um, to the 25th power, which is our time, the amount of periods that our interest is compounding. <clears throat> and then the answer to that question is, the question of how much do I need to invest today is $146,017 and 90 cents will give me a million dollars 25 years from now at 8% interest. I'm gonna show you how to do that in Excel. Okay, so here's my present value. My present value calculation is gonna go like this. I know what I want in the future. How much am I gonna to have to invest today in the present to get there? So I know that my interest rate is gonna be the same, 0.08, right? So that's my 8% interest rate. I'm gonna have 25 years on this one. So this is, I'm gonna be able to retire in 25 years. And then I know that I want in the future a million dollars. So that's one and six zeros. So that is it. Those are my inputs that I'm gonna put into this. I go up again to my little function button up here in Excel. Click it, here it comes up. Uh, my, 
my PV, my present value calculation is not up here, so I'll go ahead and type in PV into the search up above and click go, and sure enough, it comes to the top. Hit OK, and I have my box again. So this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. I'm gonna first choose my rate right there. Next is gonna be my number of periods. That's gonna be 25 right there. And then last is gonna be my future value. So this is my million dollars, right, that I want in the future. I've got that. I just realized something that I did, but that I'll fix. It's actually, I put it in the wrong cell. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. There we go, that's where it's supposed to be. So it's good to start up in that present value cell when you choose the function button to make sure your number's in the right one. So uh, that's how we work it. And so that gives us the same amount. So we're gonna need $146,017.90. So here's another concept. So one more concept with time value of money. And this is important, especially for personal finance, because we do things on a monthly, on a monthly budget kind of cycle with personal finance to get our budget and uh, time value of money connected, especially when we're saving money and working over time. An annuity, it's a stream of payments over time. It can be a stream of payments that we make, we're investing, right? We're making these payments in to an investment, or it can be a stream of payments that we receive when upon retirement, for example, right? So we invest the money and then we receive a stream of payments on the backside, right? So that's an annuity and it can work for future value and present value. First, we're gonna talk about future value. So the future value of an annuity. So this is where I'm investing. And so I'm gonna invest, in this case, I'm gonna invest $2,400 a year until I retire. I'm, I'm gonna be able to, as I'm investing, I'm gonna be able to a, earn 8% on my investments. Uh, I'm gonna do this for 20 years. So how much will I have saved at the end of the 20 years? So really the, the trick about annuities is the $2,400 that I save in year one will have more time to have interest working on it. So it's that $2,400 I save today will be able to earn a lot more interest than the $2,400 that I'm gonna save the year uh, before I retire, for example, right? That last payment of 2,400 bucks as, I, as I'm getting ready to retire, it's not gonna have much time for interest to work on it. The, the way we're gonna do calculations, I'm gonna show you in Excel right now, how do you calculate what that future value of your annuities, of your investment is gonna be? Actually, my next calculation, so that's gonna be a future value of an annuity. So I'm gonna be, and my present value at this point is gonna be zero, right? So I don't have anything uh, saved up. The way this is gonna work is, I am going to invest $2,400 per year at 8% interest for 20 years. And I wanna know how much I'm gonna have at the end of that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and right here, I'm gonna have a little box here for interest. My interest is gonna be 8% and my uh, number of periods or my years in this case is going to be uh, 20 years. Okay, so the way it would look is year one, I'm gonna invest $2,400. So that's my first year. I'm gonna do the, go ahead and do that for the rest of the time all the way through year 20, right? So there's a gap in between year and five and year 20. I'm gonna just keep going once I hit year five, six, seven, eight, all the way through 20. $2,400 a year, at the end of the 20 years, what am I gonna have for future value? So let's calculate that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor right here in the future value and select my function key. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do future value again. So I'm gonna pick my rate. My rate is gonna be right here, 8%. My number of periods is gonna be 20 years. And my payment, this time I'm gonna use payment. So my payment in this case is going to be negative 2,400. So I'm gonna invest 2,400 every year, and then that will give me the uh, future value of $109,828.71. Okay, finally, this is the last one. So this is present value of an annuity. So this is, an ex the, the best example for this one is, when I retire, I wanna be able to withdraw $3,000 a month. 
couple other things we need to know is how long do I think I'm going to do this for, right? How long am I going to need $3,000 a month as I retire? And I'm going to say I'm going to be retired for 25 years. Um, and so 25 years after retirement, I'm going to take out $3,000 a month. What I'm going to do is as I take it out, the money I leave in, right, I'm not going to take it all out at once. The money I leave in is going to continue to earn 8% interest into retirement. So the question is, is how much do I need in that account at the beginning, assuming I'm not putting any extra in, right, as in retirement, living on a fixed income here. When I retire, day one, how much money do I need in that account to then start withdrawing $3,000 a month? So that's what, where we use present value of money, right? So we're looking at the present today. Say I'm sitting right at retirement today. What am I going to need in there today to now go forward and withdraw, have a $3,000 a month salary for the rest of my retirement, basically, right? It's kind of the idea. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Excel, and we'll come up with the answer for that. So the present value of annuity, in this case, I know what I'm going to be taking out. I know my future value is going to be zero. Okay, so I'm not going to have anything left over at the end of 25 years of retirement. I'm going to do this monthly, and this is this is important. So I'm going to put in my interest here. My interest is going to be 8%. My time is going to be actually 300 months, right? So, so the way this works is I'm going to do this monthly for 25 years. So 25 times 12, a okay, number of months in a year, is going to give me 300 months. So that's what it's going to be, okay? And then my payments that I'm going to take out, my withdrawals, are going to be uh, $3,000. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. This is what I'm gonna find out is my present value. My month one is gonna be $3,000, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and go from there. Month two, month three, month four, five, and then all the way to month 300, right? At the end of the 300th month, I will have no money left for retirement. So let's go ahead and calculate the present value. So the present value in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my back to my function, and I'm gonna select present value again there. I'm gonna pick my rate, 8%. I'm gonna pick my number of periods, 300 months. Um, something I'm gonna to have to do too. So so 8%, typically we deal with, when we're dealing in financial terms, we're dealing with annual percentage rates, right? So this 8% annual percentage rate only applies if we compound yearly, right? If that's our yearly rate. And so what we're gonna to need to do now is since I'm doing it monthly, so I'm gonna to have to pull out a monthly rate here. So the monthly rate that I'm gonna to have to pull out is gonna be my 8% divided by 12. So I multiplied my number of years up to match up with the months. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide down my number of, uh, my interest rate to make my interest match with my months. And that'll give me a, a monthly interest rate of roughly about two thirds of a percent per month, okay? So that's the one we have to use. So let's go ahead and go back here to uh, calculate my present value. Now those are the things that we need to have in place. We need to know our interest. Since we're doing monthly, we need to know our monthly interest rate. We need to know our time. If we're doing it in a month, we need to know how many periods, which is how many months, and then our payments. So the payments is, is gonna be a monthly payment. So that'll, that'll work out for us. Okay, so here's our uh, present value we're gonna pick here. So what we need to know is we need to know our rate. We're gonna pick our interest rate per month. And then we're going to also pick the number of months, the number of periods, which is 300. And then we're gonna do our payments. So our payments in this case are gonna be uh, 3,000. We can pick them out right here and then go ahead and click okay. Uh, we can take our payments in a, uh, we'll switch them over to a, a negative amount, right? So we're gonna be taking them out of our investment. So that means our present, the present value of our initial investment or the amount that we need uh, upon retirement to be able to take $3,000 out a month is going to be uh, $388,693.57. So that's, that's how much I need to have in the bank when I retire if I'm able to get a solid 8% interest annualized over the time of my retirement. Thanks so much for watching. This is just another example 
right, of how to draw it out. It's really important when you're dealing with annuities to visualize, or any, any of these time value of money uh, calculations, to visualize that timeline, understand what's being done throughout the timeline, how much interest is being earned, how long am I waiting, am I making any payments along the way, am I taking any money out along the way, and so as we put all that, that stuff together, we can really be able to pinpoint what we need to do with our personal financial plan to be able to be comfortable with our investments and then our withdrawals as we go into retirement especially. And so thank you for watching. I hope this helps. If you need any additional help, feel free to contact me. I will help you. Uh, have a good day and happy uh, budgeting.